everyone, thank you for joining me, I'm Roger, and this the Hot Dance Show. Well, welcome back. Uh, today we're going to do something a little bit different. Um, we're going to make something spicy. We could do some little cooking here. Not really cooking. We're going to make Bloody Mary. Uh, I'm not a bartender, but don't judge me, okay? So, but first we get to that, let's talk about the sauce. Mo Mountain. Ah, that's some story you tell about this guy here who would not stop bothering me. So I think this is a perfect time to demonstrate, huh? Anyway, this is hot lava, Mo Mountain, and uh, you can purchase these at MoMountainHotSauce.com. I will put the link in the description below. You can order these yourself. Okay, it's a beautiful looking bottle, huh? I like the the dip wax on this. I hate to open this because it might be a good collector item, huh? Alright, let's take a look at the ingredients. Uh, it's gluten free. Water, apple cider vinegar, tomato paste, smoke, goat chili powder, chili powder, salt, cumin, coca powder, garlic powder, lemon, garlic, ginseng gum. Let's go ahead and uh, open this up, huh? Uh, it's a beautiful looking bottle, but I hate to do this, but sometimes you have to do. Be careful with the knife, huh? I don't know how long they're going to take me to open this. I may have to edit the video. Uh, this is not safe. I don't know what's the effective way to open these. Am I stupid or what? Uh, are these meant to be open or not? I don't know. Okay. How you open this? There we go. Ah. Whew, okay. All right. Took forever. Mmm. Smell the cumin. Tomato base. I think it smells really good. I believe Dick would make a perfect uh, Bloody Mary. Let's have a pour. Ooh, that's nice. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. Got some heat to it. Goat peppers. Um, take the black pepper. A lot of cumin. Mmm. This could be also a great chili. Pour the gun chili. Oh, this would be perfect for it. But I can see this could make a, a 
great Bloody Mary. Wow, this is excellent. This is really, really good. I'm surprised. This is awesome. All right, let's go ahead and uh, make the Bloody Mary. Okay, I have here the base ingredient. I pull up this website, one teaspoon of sea salt. I'm gonna use my finger instead. I had this sticky base on your taste. A dash of hot pepper sauce. Just a little dash. Ah. What's your side of sauce? I'm using this brand. To be enough. Horse radishes. Nasal napalm. <laughs> For those who don't know nasal napalm, do a research on it. Uh, it's supposedly a hundred times hotter than a regular. Uh, Horseradishes. Now it said use a dab. I don't know how much of a dab that would be. Let me know. Mmm. <laughs> I'm gonna do a little shaking. Gonna be a whole lot of shaking going along. It's gonna take a while. Here's the whole thing. See what I tell you, I'm not a bartender. See, you can see. Some celery. And some lime. Okay. Ah, not the prettiest thing you see. I wish I wouldn't put ice in it because it would be difficult to uh, drink. Huh. It's good to put an ice, but here it is. Look at one ugly looking Bloody Mary. Man, good. All right, here we go, huh? <clears throat> I'm gonna get rid of the ice. The ice gets in the way. One more. Hey. Like one drawn horseradishes. <laughs> uh, but it's tasty though. Oh. <coughs> Yummy. What I have to say. 
This dad makes a great Bloody Mary. Mole Mountain Hot Lava. Again, you can purchase this at molemountainhotsauce.com. Pretty good. Huh. Well, I get that all for the show for today. I'll see you next time on the Hot Dan Show. <laughs>